you can assign geographic location information to a drawing file. Inserting geographic information to a drawing makes points within the drawing correspond to actual geographic locations on the surface of the Earth. You do this by placing a geographic marker within the drawing. To set the geographic location in the drawing, on the Insert ribbon, in the Location panel, expand the Set Location tool. If you already have a file that contains GIS data, you can choose the From File tool and then open a KML or KMZ file. To set the geographic location by specifying the latitude and longitude, or to set the location from a map, choose the From Map tool. The program asks if I want to use live map data. I'll click Yes. In order to use live map data, you must be signed into your Autodesk 360 account. Since I am not yet signed into my Autodesk 360 account, the program displays an Autodesk sign-in dialog so that I can sign into my Autodesk 360 account. Once I have signed into my Autodesk 360 account, the program displays a geographic location dialog. Initially, this dialog shows the entire world. I could click to specify a location on the map, but it's much easier to search for an address or a latitude and longitude. In this case, I'll enter Bellingham and press Enter. Notice that multiple results are found. Since I meant to specify Bellingham, Washington, I can click to select it in the list. The map immediately updates, and notice that I can display the map as either road or aerial data. I can also enter an actual address. I'll type 1209 U Street, Bellingham, Washington, and press Enter. The map zeroes into the location I specified. Now that I've found the correct location, I'll click Drop Marker Here. A pin is placed on the map, and the corresponding latitude, longitude, and time zone are automatically applied. Then, I can zoom into the map and move the pin or modify the location properties as needed. But it's even easier to right-click and choose Move Marker Here. Then I'll move the pin to the northwest corner of the building. Notice that at present the elevation is zero. I can click on the icon to the right of the elevation to unlock the latitude, longitude, and elevation fields so that those values can be edited. I'll change the elevation to 305 and then click the check mark to save the changes I just made. Note that the current drawing unit is automatically displayed in the geographic location dialog or you can choose from a list of standard units. The inserted map is automatically scaled appropriately for the specified drawing units. Note that the program assigns World Mercator as the default coordinate system. You can also expand the GIS coordinate system drop-down and choose from a library of coordinate systems. This is important since the coordinate system defines the scale of the map. I'll choose WA N NAD 27 foot. Then I'll click Continue. The program prompts me to select a point for the location. I'll click to select the top right corner of the house in my drawing. Next, the program prompts me to specify the north direction, or I could specify an angle. I'll use polar tracking to select an angle of zero degrees. As soon as I do that, 
the command ends, and I can see the map image as a background within my drawing. When a map is applied to a drawing, it is always displayed below the drawing geometry. Now that I have applied a geographic location, a geolocation marker is displayed in the drawing at the point I specified, and a new geolocation tab is added to the ribbon. This tab includes tools for modifying the geolocation and map display.